Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important feature in Canvas app called as YAML code preview. YAML is nothing but yet another markup language. Have you ever thought that we can play with the code generated behind the screens or uh, components inside a Canvas app? Now, this is the time that you can navigate or you can deep dive what is the background code that is generating? Let's say you create a screen. So I can click on new screen and I can use a blank screen. Now when this blank screen generated, you can click on these three dots and click on view code so that you can see what is the YML code which which is built on the, uh, which uh, the, the this YML code is the basic of programming of all our screens in our Power Apps. Okay, so you see screen 4 this is the id of the screen then inside that we have a control called a screen now if you want any control over there in the screen let's say i want to add a text level and i want to add a text input plus i want to add a button and i can i can see that how the yml is generated i can see here i can define let's say change the level to something else let's say name and here I want to put the default text as blank and I can change the button text as submit for example. Now when I changed all these things and you see the background code what it is generated you can understand if you click on the screen for three dots and click on view code you see how it is generated. So this is the code that is generated depending on the YAML syntax. So what is in YAML? YAML stands for yet another markup language which is a human readable language to represent some configuration files like we used in Power App. So in Power App screens, we are using this type of YAML language in background. Okay, you see how it is generated screen ID, control type screen, and children is the tag. Inside this children, we have three controls button to text input and level and every control has its control type and properties text x y so now you can edit this and update the code so instead of working with ui always you can also edit this code and update your screen so that it will generate your ui so this is how it will give you a power to edit or reuse your code instead of always working with UI. Okay, let's take you an example. You can also copy other YAML syntax or code into your Power Apps. Let's say I want to create a component. Let me create a new component and I want to give a name called as, uh, let's say my component for example. Okay, now this is the component I want to create it. And here also for each component, you will see the code what it is generated, okay and you can define controls uh, uh, con reusable controls in this component let me copy some syntax which is created by our community members so let's say we have a spg do not here right so april dunam who is a uh, community member he create she created some source code using yml right so you can also use this type of source code in your canvas app so let me copy this entirely and use in my yaml so what you can do just click this three dots and click on click on the paste code so you can copy external yml code and paste in your current component or screen so that it will generate your ui for you okay now when i copied this code how it is generated if you click on this view code you will see what is the code it is copied from the external data source sorry external uh, web page right so she has created this control and this yml to represent as a chart and which requires some components here some dynamic values so let us define some dynamic values right so if you go to here on the top you will see in the image property we have defined some dynamic content so that it generates a do not uh, chart right so it requires a dividend and it, it requires a divisor. So let us create two input values 
input custom property values for this component. So click on new custom property and give a name, let's say dividend. I want to create a custom property called as dividend of type number. It is an input type and click on create. So I created a dividend to use in my dynamics chart to create a do not. And I want to create another custom property called as divisor. This is how we work with uh, creating components in Canvas app, right? This is also an input parameter I want to click as, as a number. And I will go to the formula, image formula of this YML code and try to change or replace the value. So here I want to replace with my dividend. So you have to give the component name dot input property. So component name is my component. So my component. my component dot dividend next here also you have to replace my component dot divisor and wherever dividend value is used you have to replace my component dot dividend and my component dot divisor now this results my issue and whatever iml code yml code i have put and i have refreshed my formula to use some dynamic input properties and it generates this okay now when you change the input properties to something else instead of 100 it will generate your do not here right so i change the dividend property to uh, 50 so it generates so it generates the uh, value accordingly by dividing the dividend by divisor Okay, I can change the divisor value to something else, let's say 70 and you see how it generates. The point here is, it's not about writing the formula, right? Here we are changing the formula. This is not to understand what formula we are doing for our component. The point here is, how we can use external, how can we use external YML code without writing start from scratch and change some code and we can recreate in our project so if i want to use this do not component in my screen so i'll go to the screen and try to add my do not here so i'll go here and drag my component and drop it here so it will generate this component for me right so what i can do i can take a take three controls here let's say one is to represent divisor dividend and another is called as divisor so how to dynamically represent this uh, uh, do not chart to take the latest dynamic value we'll see here so first is dividend and another is divisor okay now i can change the uh, control id here i want to generate I want to give txt dividend and here I want to give txt divisor. Okay. Now my intention is this input parameter should be linked with these values. So what I will do, I will go to the component properties and in the dividend I will pass txt dividend dot text because it is a text data type so you can convert this to value so that it will convert your text to value and here also you can change the divisor value dynamically connect to value and inside that txt divisor dot text so i'm binding the values of dividend and divisor to this component so if i'll run it and give some values let's say here i want to give 100 and here i want to give 50 then dynamically the value should be bind to this do not okay if i'll give 100 and here also i'll keep 100 then it will no change if i'll change to something else let's say 50 
and it will render so depending on your selection it will render your chart okay so this is the do not chart and how this is represented i have not worked on this uh, yml code i could have but i have simply gone to my open source and copied some code created by other users from gi hub and used it in my project okay so that is the benefit of using yml so yml code is nothing but the background code that gets generated for each screen and which component so that it, it can be easily readable by developers and you can also customize or edit the code using visual studio code and paste your code directly into your screen by using this paste code same way you can also do the code paste pasting using this paste code right so just copy the code from external open source revise or edit depending on your requirement and use it in your power apps so this will help you to make your application development process faster instead of writing or dragging and dropping all components start from scratch uh, you can do that easily i hope you understand how yml helps us to boost our productivity in application development platform thanks everyone watching this video see you next time bye